the only thing I've done for the first six months of this year was what I promised I was going to do. I was going to teach you exactly how to go in and find these setups and prove to you that they're consistent and prove that you can make real money, not just demo dollars. You can make real money doing it. Not all of you are going to make money every single day. You're going to lose. And guess what? I've proven that losing doesn't really change anything. But if your mindset is not accurate, or not accurate, but right, losing can derail you. And that's why I talk to you like this. That's why I give you these motivational speaks and sessions and kind of like an attaboy, a girl that type of thing that, you know, prod you along. Because it's easy to be influenced by short-term adversities because your friends and your family and your work, I mean, where you pimp your wife out for a small amount of money, you spend more time there than you spend with me. So that negative cloud that's always over top of you, the people that are around you, that you hopefully look at them as a support structure, your friends and family, none of them are going to tell you what you want them to say. They're not going to say, you know what, Brian? You fucking deserve this. You deserve this. You've worked your ass off. You've done everything right. If there's anybody out there that deserves this, you do. It didn't. You didn't take it. Nobody's going to do that for you. Your spouse ain't going to do it. So let me remind you for the last time. Stop looking to be validated outside of yourself. Because they're never going to do it. You need to be your own cheerleader. You are the person that drags your ass out of bed and says it's time to go to work. Period. You do that. Well, guess what? You got to use that same moxie to get your ass out of whatever you're doing when you're not at work. And you have to study. You have to study. You got to pour into this everything. Do it for a year. It's one year, folks. One year. Why a year? Because you're going to see all the seasonal influences that take place over the full calendar year. That's experience. That's a perspective that you cannot appreciate until you see it. Then you have that going into the next year. And if you journaled, you compare and contrast. When you start a new month, okay, what did I experience last September? What did I experience last October? And what was it like the last three weeks of December? And what was it like in January? You're going to have something as a baseline, and you do that every single year.